covenant. The Hebrew word, Brit, which is translated as covenant or alliance, has many meanings. It can refer to a contract between two people that puts them on equal terms. For instance, Jacob and his Aramean uncle Laban made a covenant with each other to decide their shared border and keep the peace. Genesis 31 verses 44 to 54. Jonathan, Saul's son, also formed a covenant with David out of love for him. 1 Samuel 18 verse 3. This was a promise of loyalty from Jonathan to the rightful king. Marriages between a man and woman are also referred to as covenant. In the Bible, the term covenant typically refers to the relationship between Yahweh and humans. This relationship could be between specific individuals such as a king or priest, or usually with all of Israel. The book of Deuteronomy takes its cue from ancient Near Eastern vassal treaties, particularly a loyalty oath imposed by Assyrian king Asarhaddon on his people. This connection emphasizes the inequality between God and his people. God issues commandments, and he expects them to be followed. Breaking any clause in the agreement is met with curses, which are found in both Assyrian documents and Deuteronomy 28. In the ancient Near East, the phrase, to make a covenant, literally meant to cut a covenant. This ceremony would involve cutting animals in two and allowing the vassal or contracting parties to pass between them. Doing so signified that they accepted the same fate if any of them violated any clauses of the contract. See Jeremiah 34. Genesis 15 recounts a particularly daring scene. Abraham is to cut animals in two, and Yahweh passes between them. This action shows Yahweh's commitment to honoring his agreement with Abraham by promising him a great many descendants and a vast area of land.